that reminds me of the way kind of zone two or training at max fat oxidation is often conflated with this magical fat burning zone and and fat loss or body fat loss is that is that something that you could clarify for the listeners yes and 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 the thing too is like when we talk about this is that's an excellent question too and i like to address because when we talk about fat max and fat oxidation we're talking about very 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 small amounts of fat that someone oxidizes you know so we're talking about like for example if you're a a, 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 an okay fit individual, your fat max is going to be 0.4 grams per minute around that, you know, amount. If you're a world-class athlete, we're talking about 0.8. Uh, if you're a moderately, moderately healthy individual, your fat max is going to be about 0.3 grams per minute. So you just do the math, right? If you are exercising uh, 60 minutes, at your fat max, and let's say you're 0.35, you're actually losing 21 grams of fat. That's it, right? In one hour, right? So there's no magic like, oh, oh yeah, I just I just burned so much fat today. No, it's not such a thing like that. You know, you you burn a little bit, but a, a little bit every day, right? If you, if you then also match this with proper nutrition, right, and 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 stay uh, at some caloric deficit, then yeah, those 21 grams of fat, right? Times uh, uh, if you do this five days a week, right? Times uh, four uh, weeks per month, yeah, yeah, that's half a kilo, right? So that's half a kilo. It's, it's not bad. You put that in 12 months, and that's six kilos that you lose, right? And that's again, that's exercising one hour. If you exercise an hour and a half, we're talking about. Uh, uh, nine kilos, which is could be incredibly beneficial for your health, right? So this is what I think that there's no magic bullet that oh wow your your fat max. People sometimes think oh I'm losing so much fat, therefore I can have a burger, a, a cheesy greasy burger because I exercise, you know. And that's the other thing too of of, of many of these machines or even watches or so like ah oh, you burn 700 calories today, yeah, but they're not telling you the partitioning. Right, you you could have burned hundred percent of those seven hundred calories derived from carbohydrates and zero from fat because your exercise mode or dosage was not the right one, right? Or you might have a fifty fifty or seventy thirty. So that's going to obviously impact, right? How much progress you make when it comes to lose weight, and this is one of the reasons why a lot of people who exercise regularly they cannot lose weight. And uh, because they say, man, I'm burning 700 calories or 1,000 calories every time I exercise and I can't lose weight. Well, first, in the, you're, you're probably overeating uh, for how much you burn. And second, you're not burning much fat, if that at all, when you exercise. So this is why it's, it's, it's a tricky concept and it, it's about patience, patience also. Patience.